Barrett says Brown was scared someone was after him. <laughs> But I kind of felt compelled to do something, so I went ahead and uploaded the video. Um, just because I knew what was on my video was contradicting to what she was saying happened. So after all that happened, um, how did your personal life go like with your employment, etc.? Well, people within the community, um, I guess, found out where I was employed at. And they started harassing the company. They were posting to my company's Facebook page, calling, emailing the corporate office, telling them I'm a radical, I'm anti-police, I'm a black extremist, all this type of stuff. Um, and my employer actually fired me for that. Um, I threatened to go to the media over it. Um, and they actually took it a step further and blacklisted my credentials. So my credentials are no longer valid in the state of Texas. My career in law enforcement, I actually joined the Brotherhood of the Free Nations. Uh, yeah, how large. You, that? I mean, you know, a lot of cops are involved with that. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah. And it is, it's, uh, it's a thing that I'm not saying you must do, but 95% of them do. You know what I mean? Uh, right. So this actually exists. Yes, it does. It's your call. It's not going to be messing with. Okay. I'm going to tell you straight up. If, if you start exposing them, they'll go after you, they'll go after your family, they'll try to kill you because the government's part of it. It's not only civilians, the government is in goal to these people. Right, right. And in every, there's sectors throughout the whole country that split apart. I, I don't know if it's North, East, South, and West, but they have witches. They're in charge of these sectors, and warlocks are in charge of these sectors. But they have a specific warlocks and, uh, you know, council of witches, which are either male or female. And pretty much they're in charge of thousands of members of the congregations and the local witches and warlocks that are in charge of that congregation. Wow. And a lot of them are politicians heavily involved in witchcraft. And they pretty much monitor the the, the satanic uh, you know, I'm going to use the satanic uh, you know, uh, members. And they have to do certain rituals and certain things in order for them to gain favor with the Rothschilds, and then they send uh, orders of, of, of you know orders of doing things for the for, for that family. Uh, you know they give them orders, and and with those orders come money comes with it. And so the safety. So like the exact same way we try to expand the kingdom of God, they doing it the other way. They're doing it the other oh way. yeah, they, they yeah. it's satanic at the core. This whole country is not based upon Christianity. It's satanic uh -huh. from head to toe. Don't ever think. That the president is not a satanic worshiper either. Don't ever think. I'm gonna put it out there too. I'm gonna put it out there. Nice. I'm gonna put it out there. Because I mean, come on, their God is money. Lucifer. Right. They don't have none of what or Geiger says her door was ajar and she saw a large silhouette inside. After giving verbal commands that were ignored, she fired her handgun twice, striking both of them once in the torso. It wasn't until Geiger turned on the lights and called 911 that she realized she was at the wrong apartment. I did hear the actual shot, and that's, that's what prompted me to go outside and uh, actually start recording the video. Um, I heard everything prior to um, some things I'm not at liberty to speak about, but I did hear the actual gunshots, um, and I heard a male's voice say, oh my God, why did you do that? Um, and then that's when I went outside. Um, my video actually started about 60 seconds after the actual shooting took place. In your estimation, how many shots you heard? Two. Two shots? Mm hmm Okay, so let's talk about the Southside Flats apartments. Okay. So both of them, John, was he on the fourth floor? He was on the fourth floor. And the Amber Guy girl, she lives on the third floor at the time? That's correct. Okay. So is there any way, shape, form, or even possible for her to confuse his apartment with her apartment? No, I wouldn't see how. Um, the the elevator, the garage, the hallways, everything is marked with what floor you're on. And if, had she had come from the garage, she would have had to walk down two pretty long hallways to get to his door. So she would have passed plenty of indication to let her know she was on the fourth floor. Okay, it was also stated that when it initially happened, that she stated that she saw the door kind of ajar. Could those doors be ajar for any reason? 
No, the doors close automatically. They're um, firefighter doors. They close as soon as you release them. Um, I've never had the door over there stay open. What the fuck is going on? Joshua Brown was no stranger to police, convicted of crimes in at least five cities across Texas. He was arrested for drug possession, evading arrest, theft, and having an illegal firearm. 2017. He asked to be released early after being arrested for drugs. He says, I am praying when that day comes and I am discharged that I can put the whole series of events behind me and start off on a clean path. But records show he continued a life of crime. Last year, he was shot at a strip club. A man with Brown was shot and killed. But police believe he, he was the target. Attorney Lee Merritt represents Brown's family and now admits Brown was hesitant to testify in the Amber Geiger trial, not because of that case, but because people were after him. I feel like we're watching something that I've never seen before. I mean, this moment... Um, the hug between Amber Geiger and Botham Jean's brother, and now the judge. Uh, it, it, it sounded like maybe she was reading a, a Bible scripture or witnessing somehow. I mean, it's just a, oh my God, now the, the judge is hugging Amber Geiger. I, okay, this is, um, I'm starting to lose it again. Well. What the fuck is going on? Several of my fellow judges and I, when this case was indicted, we were all like, oh my God, I hope I don't get that case. And then I was the fortunate one. And so I just tried to focus on, this is a murder trial. Let's do what we always do in a murder trial. Make certain we're fair to both sides and everything will work out fine. <laughs> Do you recall that I previously swore you under oath? Yes, ma'am. You're still under oath to tell the truth, okay? Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much. What the fuck is going on?